welcome to my channel and welcome to today's video anti-aging facial oil now i have been using this amazing anti-aging oil on my skin guys this oil have my skin looking younger fresher i noticed that i have this radiant glow to my skin and yes you might be wondering where i got this from i actually made it in my kitchen using all natural oil it's an amazing combination of oils that contains vitamin a which will help to boost the collagen production in the skin it also contains vitamin C which helps to smooth the wrinkles and clear the skin of hyperpigmentation it also contains vitamin E which hydrates the skin and nourish the skin and when you mix all that all together guys I'm telling you my skin is just reaping the full benefits so if you want to see how I made this anti-aging facial oil that have my skin looking this amazing giving me this natural youthful glow follow me to the kitchen and I'll show you how to whip this up I will I will also show you how to use it on your skin for best result. So today I'm going to show you how to use this to make this amazing anti-aging facial oil. So let's get in the kitchen and start whipping this up together. Many of you are familiar with castor oil, but you are not aware that castor oil makes an amazing anti-aging facial oil. This is due because castor oil contains rhinconelic acid. Now in order for this rhinconelic acid to be released, you have to roast the castor beans. Jamaican black castor oil is actually roasted castor beans, which is loaded with this rhinconelic acid. Rinsonelic acid will help to boost the collagen production in the skin tighten and firm that skin it will also help to get rid of wrinkles and fine lines on the skin clear the skin of hyperpigmentation hydrates the skin rejuvenate and repair the skin and making this an amazing anti-aging facial oil so today I'm going to show you the best way to use your castor oil on your skin for anti-aging benefits. Now our first oil is grapeseed oil. And grapeseed oil is a light oil that will help to smooth wrinkles and fine lines. It contains an amazing amount of vitamin E, which will help to hydrate the skin, lock the moisture in the skin, and leave the skin soft and supple. Now we're using the grapeseed oil as a carrier oil. And I'm gonna use one tablespoon of the grapeseed oil. If you wanna do percentage measurement, the grapeseed oil is going to be at least a 50%. So one tablespoon of the grapeseed oil and this is what it looks like very light oil our next oil is sesame seed oil and I'm using unroasted sesame seed oil sesame seed oil is an amazing oil that's gonna help to get rid of wrinkles and fine lines on the skin brighten the skin hydrates the skin boosts collagen production in the skin reduce a sagging skin tighten and firm the skin and leave the skin just younger looking so for our sesame seed oil I'm gonna be using one teaspoon of the sesame seed oil pour this in our next ingredient is castor oil and I like to use the Jamaican black castor oil this is an amazing anti-aging facial oil however when you're using castor oil as your facial oil I do not suggest you apply it directly to the skin use a carrier oil like the grapeseed oil and sesame seed oil like we're showing here we do not need a lot of castor oil since a little goes a long way all we're using is about a teaspoon of the castor oil and we're pouring this in if you have any other castor oil you can go ahead and use it in this recipe now here I have a three special oils and you can use either or either or any special oil you have in this you can choose to use two special oil you can choose to use three special oil or you can use only one special oil I have marula oil I have papaya seed oil and I have rose hip oil this I'm making for myself so I'm gonna use a three oil but use just one oil or if you have all three go ahead 
ahead. And if you have any oils that I didn't mention, then you can also use it. What I'm looking for is oil that are rich in vitamin A. Rosehip oil is rich in vitamin A, so you can use that. Papaya seed oil is rich in both vitamin A and vitamin C. Marula oil contains vitamin C and vitamin E with a bit of, uh, of vitamin A. So what I'm going to be using mostly is my um, rosehip oil. I'm using a teaspoon of the rosehip oil and you're using a teaspoon of all the three oils that you're going to use or any of the special oils. And even if you're using just one of these oil, then you definitely use a teaspoon. So as for my papaya seed oil is concerned, I'm just spraying it in. And next I'm going to add my marula oil. I'm using a teaspoon of the morilla oil also and the morilla oil is a very thick oil also guys pouring this in and now we're gonna mix this together and we're gonna mix well you can also choose to blend this oil blend together make sure everything is fully blended together and you can also choose to warm the oil when you are making this anti-aging facial oil now guys this is ready our anti-aging facial oil is ready on your skin right after you apply your serum or your moisturizer now it's best if you're not using moisturizer to apply this on top of the serum definitely use your facial toner and then you apply your serum and then you apply your facial oil or your moisturizer another way to use this is to add this to your favorite moisturizer one teaspoon to one ounce of your favorite moisturizer and what it's gonna do is just gonna kick your moisturizer up a notch just an amazing guys this is gonna reduce wrinkles and fine lines hydrates the skin boosts the collagen production in the skin not only that this is gonna get rid of spots and blemishes on the skin leave the skin looking years younger fresher, brighter to natural glow. So there you have it, such an amazing combination of ingredients. Give it a go guys, and as I said before, use the oils you have, just make sure that you have vitamin A, vitamin C, and vitamin E oil in this mixture. Thank you all for watching. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up, share the video, leave a comment. Those are always welcome. And if this was your first time, you want to see more of these amazing videos, look below, you're going to see the word subscribe. Just click on it and you will be subscribed. Thank you all, and I'll see you in my next video with another amazing recipe just for you.